Our team coverage continues right now in Wallingford. That's where crews battled a massive fire at Choate Rasmary Hall. School officials tell Eyewitness News the roof of the building was actually struck by lightning. It was a pretty scary scene, but fortunately no students were hurt in this fire. Channel 3's Aya Galal joins us now live from our Chevy Early Warning Weather Tracker with more. So what are the conditions like now, Aya? Conditions are much better right now, but earlier before the heavy downpours combined with the thunder and lightning made things very difficult for firefighters. On top of that, the rain making things very slippery and dangerous. It was around 630 this evening when the flames broke out at the Hill House building. A severe band of thunderstorms and lightning strikes were moving quickly through the area. Lightning strikes, we do have them uh, in bigger buildings like that. And when they do start, it's very difficult. Uh, it's very labor intensive. Uh, to get these fires under control. Those conditions made it more challenging for crews to put out the flames. The rain uh, it makes things slippery outside. As I stated, we have a slate roof on this building. It's a large building uh, with a lot of void spaces and uh, everything becomes very slippery. Uh, the slate starts coming down from the fire. The slate is very sharp. Choate Rosemary Hall uses this building for dorms and a dining hall. The fire shot right through the roof. It was lightning all around us, mm -hmm. so it became very dangerous. We had people up on the roof. We had lightning strikes continuing. Even at right now, we have lightning strikes around here. Crews attacked the fire aggressively, and mutual aid was called in. There is smoke and water damage throughout the building, however. In less than an hour, it was put out. Tonight, school officials tell us about 600 students are attending summer programs on the campus. In a statement, the school said, quote, all of our students are safe. Students residing in Hill House and the adjoining library, hall, and West Wing buildings were evacuated to the Worthington Johnson Athletic Center. We are monitoring the situation closely and will be sending parents updates as soon as they become available. Now we are also told because the building is older, that made it harder for firefighters to put out the fire. School officials also tell us tonight that they are working to provide alternate housing for all the students affected. Live with the Weather Tracker, Aya Glal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.